In a cozy little playroom, a group of adorable children gathered together with sparkling eyes and boundless imaginations. They had an extraordinary idea. They would build a magnificent castle. With a flurry of excitement, they rummaged through the toy bin, gathering the finest materials they could find. Soft blankets like plush clouds, fluffy pillows as comfy cushions, and shiny tinsel as shimmering chandeliers. Look, exclaimed Emily, the giggling princess, as she draped a pink blanket over the chair, transforming it into a regal throne. Let's use this pillow as a moat, suggested Ethan, the brave knight, as he placed a huge pillow in front of the castle to protect it from enemy dragons. One by one, each child added their own touch to the grand castle. Lily, the wise wizard, used her coloring book as a magic scroll, while Peter, the daring adventurer, made secret passageways out of empty cardboard boxes. As the castle grew taller and more splendid, the children couldn't help but laugh and squeal with delight. They chased each other around the fortress, pretending to be princes and princesses, knights and dragons. Emily twirled her wand, casting spells that made the castle glow with rainbow colors. Ethan charged into battle, using a wooden sword to defeat imaginary foes. Lily brewed potions in a pretend cauldron, stirring with a spoon that was actually a plastic toothbrush. Suddenly, a thunderous roar shook the castle. Oh no, it's the dragon, cried Emily. We must defend our realm, shouted Ethan. With a fierce determination, the children grabbed all sorts of toys and pretended to fight off the mighty dragon. They threw stuffed animals, shot toy bows and arrows, and even sang a silly dragon chasing song. After a fierce battle, the dragon was vanquished. The children cheered and hugged each other, celebrating their victory. As the sun began to set, the children knew it was time to return to their homes. But they promised to come back tomorrow and build an even more amazing castle, filled with even more magical adventures. And so, the story of the pretend castle ended, but the joyous memories made that day would last a lifetime, reminding the children of the power of their imagination and the magic that can be found in the simplest of things.